Alright, so now that we've got the scientific credentials and we're smarter than everybody else, let's head back into Vendomart and see if we can buy ourselves a lab coat. Oh, whoops, accidentally zoned out. Fortunately, I guess because we're playing it on a modern PC, uh, the load times are practically non-existent. It's pretty nice. Alright, lab coat three pack. Conveniently, it comes in three! Alright, where's the, uh, session file? Sorry, Scientific uh, Association credentials are necessary to make this purchase. But we have the Scientific Association credentials, right? Pretty sure we do. Um, is there a way to check my inventory? Would that go into my inventory? Alright. Got a bat. Resurrects a deadish character, so I guess if you get knocked out, you're deadish. Nice. Uh, I can't see where it says that I actually got. Got my doogies. Let's see. <sighs> Once you get tickets, you need to follow the following. Good pass the security guard. Look more like scientists. My little megalocephic Wendy, a definite must for any young girl and a probable must for any young boy. Wendy's massive spherical cranium ensures a cuteness far superior to most ordinary dolls, and she floats better too. The doll comes with 35 collectible containers and says nine separate phrases, including let's go buy more containers and which container looks the prettiest. Have you yourself an incredible evening tonight and every night with megalocephalic Wendy. This is a different vending option over here, huh? Is this OX cartridge? OX code game for home arcade, okay. Uh, you know, let's, let's go buy this. How do I, uh... Oh, you just add your shopping cart like this, interesting. Huh. And then we check out. Okay. Talk to mean people, even cute ones. Are you saying that I'm a mean, cute person? Let's uh, switch over to this guy. I don't talk to mean people, especially old ones. I don't talk to mean people, even cute ones. But I'm not even a people. I'm not gonna be a mean people. All right. Um. Darn. Know that our lab coat is right here, and we seem to have some. I oh, can't use this. I, uh, I, 
guess their heads are turned away if they can't use it. And if they can't use it, their heads are facing you. Gotcha. Just come back and forth to these two terminals over and over. Uh, I don't even see that Ox game cartridge that was just down here. Is there just like a bunch of vending that I'm missing or something? Because there was totally a, a game cartridge that was just here, and now I don't see it. And now there's one less of something here. And you keep on fluctuating. Oh, this is ridiculous. Has to do with which button you press on. So confused. Hope it's not just a bug quest. Right. A pooper cartridge. Okay. I already got one megalith. has to do with this featured item that we're looking at. Alright, this battery and more available today. Let's do this scientific one more time. These lab coats and more are available today. Sorry, Scientifica Association credentials are necessary to make this purchase. Well, I guess we'll work on one of the other tickets you need to do the following to get on the brain train center. Get all right first we gotta get the tickets. Let's, let's figure out where I can find those. There's something about a scalper, right? Like maybe I can find it. Oh hey. Do you sell something? No, nothing I need here. Let's uh head over to the red light district and see if anybody there can hook us up. Maybe there's a, a scalper there. They'll sell us some tickets. Shame we have to leave this zone though. The music is very pretty and calm. Quite a bit of damage. Oh, he one shot that dude. Wow. Don't mess with my little robot friend. He'll mess you up, dude. Alright, uh, we need to heal our party members, I think. How's Crumbo's doing? Uh, he's got 797. Let's give him another one. There we go. Alright. There we go. Alright, so with him out of the way. Now where do we go? Let's get him out of the way turned around. Just because the combat takes place in that little uh like uh little mini arena and the camera floats around, it's really easy to get disoriented whenever you come out of a match. Hey, looks like I can do something here. Let's see if I can uh, make this uh, mini game work this time. The delineation between uh, weak circuits and strong circuits is very subtle. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah! Oh, the hacking games in, uh, in Bioshock. That's what it reminds me of. I'm trying to remember, I was like, where have I seen something similar to this for? 
granted, Bioshock probably got it from somewhere else first, too. Seems like a pretty, uh, um, common game, minigame type. Kind of like Blackout, you know? Ooh, a glutton. Yeah. I said something about my glowing bat, and possibly my glowing rodent, um, holding a certain amount of energy, I guess, for our shields. I, I didn't really sure how shields even work. Whoa. Whoa. What the crap? <laughs> the, these pipe snakes? What the? What the heck, man? Um, wow. Alright, let's go ahead and use these bindle bags and these critters. Let's try to throw it on the middle one if we can. See how that works. Boom. 200 damage. Looks like it didn't do area effect damage though, it just hit one of them. This guy's crazy. Alright, I'll take you out since you're the closest. Oh, they have little skulls faces in the pipes, look at that. Oh, they spawn more? Oh, okay, no. Okay. Weird little critters. I like them though, they're cool. They're very creepy. I think video games need more uh, environments that come alive and attack you. Oh, I should try using his heal field, but he's, his energy is way low. Oh, but it looks like he's got enough to use, like, one attack. Whoa! That was, uh, pretty harsh. I guess it didn't do too much damage, but it looked like a pretty rough attack. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, let's use our... a windmill dash. Isn't that what my... Hang on a second, I'm pretty sure that's... Exactly what, uh... I attack with, isn't it? damage. Man, that little pal can really uh, put out some damage. Oh, maybe that blue stuff. Is that blue stuff my energy levels? Like, if I use a Gloden, then it'll automatically fill up my... Like, that's your mana, essentially, I think is what it's saying. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense, actually. I was already remarking this place seems kind of creepy, but got a whole lot creepier when uh, found out that the environment can come alive and attack you at any moment. Should have looked at what the names of those things were. They didn't. There's no one of those little knives. That's interesting. Just don't figure out what to do with those. I guess there's no need to find my old save. Like, I haven't had any problems with crashes yet or anything. And it doesn't seem like there's any actual, like, player choices that you would want to reload an earlier save to, to redo. Just to see the story. That stiff stiff! Yep. Very observant, little buddy. Someone fired the panel that opens this door! This panel is completely jacked! Hmm. Is there anybody that could fix it? What kind of fool would take a gun to this panel? Hey, that guy was right. Someone shot this panel apart. Idiot. What guy even told us that? I don't <laughs> He's dead. 
Someone fried the panel that opens this door. Someone fried the panel that opens this door! That's literally what Boots just said. Grumpos, come on. Do it for him. Stone dead! What's this? Oh, an anti winky. through here until I can figure out how to fix that panel, huh? Is that what I'm seeing? Is my quest updated? No. Hmm. Well, now we're uh, in quite the predicament, huh? So I guess we won't be heading to the red light district anytime soon. Which I'm actually really looking forward to seeing anyway. I want to see what these uh, alien hookers look like. Um, to be right. Fortunately, it's like uh, the maps seem a lot easier to get lost in than they actually are. They're pretty big and uh, expansive, but as we've already stated, there tends to be just there's only one path through them. So it looks like I should be able to get into that, doesn't it? Um, go. Well, let's see, where have we not tried looking yet? I wonder. There's our little gimp guy. Cinder Conference in that room. Let's see what the uh, Hollow Net has to say to us, or the Cinder Net as it was. Let's gossip. Uh, do -do. Oh, hey. Who's the naughty alien trading shuttle passes for Takataka? -taka? Will he or she, or it, get found out now that Gum Fufu -fu has been captured? That is what we need. We need somebody willing to say uh, sell some some uh, little doobies, some shuttle passes. But I don't even know what Taka Taka is. All right, the big corporation has just bought a planet from its president. Uh, is it true that yeah, the entire continent may have a huge Titan shuttle? Where the search light was found. Did we get a thought ritual? Heretic scientist. Cortico's new pal twenty one. Yesterday. All right, setcon. Uh, every major system clutches is talk exclusive computer standardization. Terran. Hey, talks will be the recent currency standardization to the Terran Canadian dollar. So once again, um, confirmation that this is based on, uh, in our universe, but also Canada is still a thing. And apparently, their industry, uh, their economy, is the gold standard for the future. That's interesting. All right, let's send the dormitory, opens five new floors. Do, do, do. Vendomart has new toys. Do, do, do. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a second. Happy Art Toys have released a new line of big and beautiful toys simulating various body part enlarging conditions. <laughs> Though they have taken some flack for the less than sensitive, from the less than sensitive, the creator of the toy line defends her creations. We have no toys for us, said the stereo. said the steatopic. I, I cannot read the word. Steatopic chick. Uh, Susan Brent Benson. It's time my daughter played with a doll that has a behind as grand as her own. <laughs> Other toys in the line feature swelled feet, enlarged crania, and ridiculously swelled mammalia. <laughs> So they sell giant breasted dolls. Nice. Alright. There's an alien trading subtle passes for Takataka. Taka. So that narrows it down a little bit, I guess, right? We're looking for an alien. And there's only like 45 of those around here. 
That's the Lipkinger Four over there. They held a BOF conference last October. Gotta buy contrary to public wisdom. No, really. Scoop up all them junk stocks nobody wants. Believe me, it pays. Uh, actually it doesn't. I want to contest that. Investors poo-poo dividends, but when the market's in the gutter, I'm in the pink. Um, I remember in high school, uh, we had a little, like, pretend, um, stock market, right? I always wanted to be a mine. You know, I'm a banker instead. Uh, yeah, we had a, a fake stock market, and I didn't really understand how 